so I'm heading out to Utah to do my scuba diving class and um, in preparation for going out to Egypt. But um, I didn't do a lot of research on my way heading out here. I just knew this is where I had to go. And um, I came across this really cute little town called Mid Mid Midway Mid Midway Ridge Mid Mid Ridge. I'll have to find out what the name of the town is, but it's super cute. And um, I found this little chocolate factory back here that I stopped at, and um, I got myself a little bit of a sweet treat to have and some good old hot chocolate. So I just have some time to kill before my hotel. Um, I already went into the Christmas tree um, uh, store and it's Christmas stuff, Christmas season all year round there. So that was super cute to go to. And I'm just gonna cruise around Midway and um, see if there's anything else I can explore while I'm here. The town of Midway has a very strong Swiss influence in the late uh, or mid 1800s. Um, some of the people from Switzerland started to migrate over and one of the strong attractions besides the beautiful mountains which tend to share some similarities with the Matthorn mountain area outside of Zimmermatt which is a town in Switzerland. So this kind of looked like their home, but there was also this really cool aspect, which was a natural hot spring or a hot pot. And this was a very popular area. So these hotels start popping up around this area. And, you know, I was coming to Utah specifically because of this hot pot and this natural vapor water or hot water um, source, kind of like a hot springs. It definitely reminded me a lot of Devil's Den, except for Devil's Den down in Florida is a cold spring. So the water was about 72 degrees and this was more around 90 degrees. So this was a really good location and a safe environment for getting your scuba certification. There was, I think, three other classes going on at the same time that we were there. And um, it was a little bit of a tight squeeze for everyone, but we were able to get through to it. And I was able to pass my exam. After our class, I checked in to the Zermatt Hotel, which is right across the street in walking distance. You can see that arch architectural influence again coming in from Switzerland. And the mountains were cascading all around the building. I was able to stay in the back with a great view and over a little private farm with some animals, which was a joy to watch. So I just walked in to my villa, and this is so nice. Look at the kitchen, full refrigerator cabinets. Oh my goodness, really like that. <laughs> We even have a bathroom over here. Let's see this closet. Oh, a nice full-size closet. Let's see the bathroom. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. We even have a nice big bathtub. Awesome. This is nice. Oh, I think there's a balcony as well. Oh, yeah. let's see. Oh, another closet back in here. Sweet. No one really cares about closets, but I care about what I'm gonna see out here. Let's see what this is all about. Uh-oh. It doesn't seem like it's gonna let me out. We have to try this way. No. No. Ah, I had to lift up. Ah, I'm done. Oh, look at this view. 
They said I would be over some horses. They said it's a private property back here, which is amazing. I hope he gets to hold on to it for a very long time. Look at that old ranch. That is beautiful. Oh, I see some baby goats over there. Oh, there's some big, big heifers. Look at that. I don't know if I can zoom in. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. I'm so fortunate to have this opportunity. A little balcony. I think I'll be hanging out here in a little bit. Maybe do a little YouTubing out there. Bathroom is amazing. Looks like you could have another doorway right there. Is that a fireplace? Oh, that's so amazing. Let me see. Maybe this turns it on. We'll see. That'd be great if that actually turns on. Maybe I might have to call them and ask how to turn it on, but amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, look at these vault ceilings. They love that bench. This was such a good idea. I'm so glad I stayed here. I decided to take a little walk and explore the area. I found their little green area in the back. I found their steakhouse and I even found a pretty big life-size chess board and I think a shuffleboard. I'm not exactly sure. There was also a mini golf course that I was able to find but I wasn't able to play so maybe next time. And I just kind of walked around and took it all in. Well, I didn't find the putt-putt, but I did find my favorite thing. The spa entrance, because you know I'm going to have to take the spa. <laughs> so I went through the spa entrance, but I don't know where it goes yet. Mm. Ooh. What is that? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Need my key. Well, this is exciting. 8 a.m. to 10. I like those hours. So I did visit the spa on the property and I decided to get one of the rituals. So it was a facial and a massage and a foot service. So it was about three hours long. They had a very nice, calm and relaxing environment. It was a little confusing that you checked in, I think it was on the second floor, and then you went to the third floor, something like that, but it was pretty easy because on the ground was a spa attendant at the pool, so you really couldn't get lost, and there was always someone there to direct you. 
and I decided to do this before heading out because the weekend was so jam-packed with different things and I must apologize I didn't even get to tell you about all of the food and the wonderful food that I had so I will make a second episode so we can discuss the best part which is food Thank you so much for watching this video and I would really appreciate it if you could share and like and subscribe because uh, you know we need to do that as YouTubers. So I appreciate you and thank you. Good night.